Hi there, this is Darren from Treasure Life Family Farms, and today we are working on a Polaris Sportsman 110, a 2016, I believe it is. It's the first one that had the fuel injection uh, style motor. And what we believe from the internet is this pump is what is uh, gone bad and it's just too weak to keep the proper pressure. So we ordered this Kemzo uh, replacement off of the internet. All right, here's the uh, one we ordered. Kemzo, K-E-M-S-O, uh, 40 bucks. 20% off right now, I guess. I think the key to it is that Sportsman 110 EFI thing there. We paid 40 bucks. Um, not sure what else to tell you about this. It comes with all the stuff. More stuff than what you use. Um, the one that we have uses this filter, but this pump must go to a bunch of them and has different filters hanging on the end of them. Things like that. So, so anyways, uh, we got together and it's it's running. I just wanted to show you, you know, where we got it and how much we paid. So, um, there's our fuel pump. It comes with this big bag of stuff, and this is for more than just the Polaris Sportsman 110. This is for, I guess, a bunch of different models because one of these uh, fuel filters, for example, matches the one that that we have off the old one the pump seems to be similar enough and the rest of it is just a matter of putting it all together and getting the wires back on so uh, what we're going to do is get this open get the pump back up into its case carrier with the wires plugged in we took some pictures so we don't mess that up and then we'll go over to the four-wheeler and start putting this all back together. So that's where that's where we're headed. It's a shot in the dark. I I, I had the fuel injector off earlier, and it's uh, spraying when it's pressured up. So we're hoping this is the solution. So we're gonna get to work on this, and we'll catch you up once we're trying to put this back in the fuel tank on the other side. All right, we're doing this project in the barn because sometimes we get a step or two and then it takes forever before we can do the next step. So, uh, this is the 110. It's got all the plastic off and we have that cover over the hole in the tank while we're waiting for our new pump to come. But we wanna clean this back away now. So we've got paper towels and uh, WD-40 and so the plan is to kind of spray down a paper towel and drag the heavy dirt away and then eventually we'll be spraying and polishing and getting this nice. So that's uh, what we're going to do. Then the pump will set down, set down in there the float for the fuel level will go to the front. That will cause the inlet for or basically the outlet for the fuel to hook to the hose for the fuel and we're really not very far away at all from trying to see if this is going to run so we're going to clean that up and put that back together and we'll be right with you okay that went in real nice um this didn't clean up i mean it, it looks like it's all grungy and crapped out but it's not I mean there's nothing more you can wipe off of this so we did that with the paper towels in the WD-40 we put our screws in and barely touched them then all the way around then we go from here to there to there to here to there to here about two times around because you've got a rubber seal under here and you don't want it to bunch so we're gonna put gas in and then uh, we should be really ready to start it up, barring the battery being dead or any other 
oddities that are going to cause it not to crank over when we try, but uh, we're going to see if we can start it up. Alright, I don't know if this is going to run or not, but we got to hold this brake handle in order for it to start. He figured that out, we didn't have to jump it. It didn't used to do that before, it used to barely idle. And then if you touch the gas, it would want to die. So I'm very encouraged by our fuel pump replacement being very good. Again, this whole thing is 400 bucks from uh, Polaris, probably more with tax. And that little fuel pump we put in was uh, 50 bucks off Amazon, 40 bucks off Amazon. I'm very encouraged by this so far. Maybe we'll zip tie some plastic up and go ride it with the, just a seat and uh, then we'll put the plastic on next. Now we know our chain in the back needs oil, so I'm gonna grab the WD-40. We'll give it some of that. We've got other kinds of oil too that might do better. That's that clicking I think we heard. Okay. So he'll get the plastic back on. He's our he's our mechanic, that guy. And uh, he took all that plastic off on his own. And I gave him a method to his madness, so he's got it all lined up on the shelving over there with different screws for different parts chronologically for the way he took it apart so he should have good luck that way and then there's a bunch of these little plastic uh, pop clips or whatever that never survive anything on any vehicle and I know we are missing probably half of them on our minivan so we've got a kit for 150 of those coming from Amazon too so Hopefully you can use some of those to get that thing back together. Super beautiful night out tonight. Thanks for watching. Uh, I believe the four-wheeler will be for sale here soon. Just because uh, our kids, uh, he's not the lightest one. There's, uh, our daughter is just a hair lighter than him. But uh, everybody's getting bigger. Getting big enough for a full-size four-wheeler. So we're going to see about selling this one and then see what we can find out there to buy one but yeah he's riding it pretty good and it's going awesome thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video